This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dom, and welcome back to Dime Up Cuz. Before we get to the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy, Dime. Hey, I wasn't even supposed to watch this game tonight. I really wasn't. I wasn't supposed to watch this game. I was supposed to be on 2K, playing the game, doing whatever. Not even watching this game because I have lost hope. You know, as a person who's been with this team since 21 wins, 61 losses, no draft picks, this was a time I lost lost hope with the team. But, you know what? I was losing hope with this team. And you know what? I stayed with it. I stayed with it even till tonight. Even till tonight, I was like, you know what? We might lose, but I'm a Nets fan for life. No matter what happens, bro. I'm a Nets fan for life. I've been through, I've been through worse. I've been through worse. I come into this game saying we might lose this game and we might lose the next game. It looked like that. It looked like that in the first half, you know, we were down 17, it wasn't looking great, nobody was really showing up besides Kevin Durant and Jeff Green and James Harden, I don't know what he was doing, but he didn't play very well tonight, even though he had like 7 assists, 8 assists, he didn't really take the scoring load off of, uh, of Jeff Green and Kevin Durant. In that second half, the Nets came alive, I don't know what happened to the Bucks defense, um, there were points where I was like yo there were points in the game where I was like yo the Bucks they could have avoided this by doing this right like Kevin Durant was cooking everybody but not when he was in that point where he was cooking this all-time performance not once did I see Giannis on him Giannis is a very long player Kevin Durant is a very long player and when those two collide it's going to be an equal match or an equilibrium between the two when you have Drew Holiday Chris Middleton PJ Tucker who has been guarding Kevin Durant pretty well this series or in this past few games or in these past few games in this series He doesn't really have the length to keep up with Kevin Durant Giannis has that length and he's very good defensively now They could make a defensive adjustment next game where they have Giannis guarding Kevin Durant especially since like Kevin Durant played like all 48 minutes So he will be pretty fatigued by next game most likely and I, 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 I was Man, I was jumping up and down by the end of the, like the third quarter to the to, through the entire fourth quarter. I was jumping up and down. I was like, Kevin Durant is here, bro. And to all the Twitter haters, bro, saying Kevin Durant can't carry a team. Kevin Durant is not a, a player who can play without all stars. He technically did that tonight because yes, James Harden is an all star, but James Harden did not play very well. He he only had like what eight points eight or five points in like 30 like a bunch of minutes i don't know the exact amount of minutes basketball reference doesn't even have the stats up yet it's too crazy but kevin durant man shoot y'all need to stop bro people saying he can't carry a team yes he can bro he can carry a team he just did it tonight 49 point he had a 49 point triple double 49 point triple double and won the game hit the clutch free throws he could have went he could have got 50 but he missed that free throw which i wish he made a lot of adjustments need to be made especially guarding kevin durant since the nets really don't have that many offensive offensive outlets besides kevin durant and jeff green tonight jeff green is one of those is is very nice people who say jeff green's not nice get out bro if if you say jeff green is not nice subscribe to my channel 100 but jeff green is a very good player and he went off tonight he only missed like one three-pointer tonight which is very great he like six for seven he was six for seven and this was great i love this this was something that i was looking forward to i'm so happy that this happened hopefully we can win next game so we can go to the conference finals but i am not going to be surprised if they do make defensive adjustments the bucks do I, i'm not going to be surprised and make it even harder for the nets to win because now that Kyrie is out and James Harden's not playing very well. I feel like I feel like they're going to put a lot more pressure on KD next game and it's going to be a dogfight, just like tonight. So tell me your thoughts about this series in the comments below. Will the Nets win the series in six or will the Bucks force game seven? Also, question of the day, who is your favorite NBA player? And is Kevin Durant the best player in the league right now? If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. 
Hey, God bless. Peace out. 100.